Hi and welcome to the COVID Gorgon demo video. Many of you have been waiting and asking for the next COVID theme and now we're finally ready and proud to reveal a brand new COVID Gorgon theme for WordPress. We don't release themes every month like some do, in fact our last theme was released all the way back in 2015. And that's because we don't build to sell. We build themes that we need and want to use in our business and only if a theme stands up to our own rigorous quality test we will offer it to you. And Coca-Cola passed all the tests and then some. In fact, we're getting fantastic results with it. But before I show you how and why we built Coca-Cola, I need to tell you a little secret. I love cooking. Now that might be a surprise to some of you and some of you who know me know that I absolutely love spending time in the kitchen cooking. And I'm gonna show you one of my favorite sites that is related to my passion for cooking great food. And this is Food Gawker, my secret weapon in the kitchen. I love to come here to find new recipes. And the cool thing about how this site works is that <clears throat> this has a collection of thousands of recipes. And you go in here and you look at the images and, and you find something you want to cook rather than having to <coughs> search uh, Google to find recipes for, for stuff. And this means that I will discover stuff that I didn't even know existed because it looks interesting and I'll find it. So this is a great way that they've aggregated this information that I'm interested in, in an easy and nice way for me to find it. So this has become my go-to hub for all recipes. And of course I can search the site, uh, <coughs> different categories, words, and all that good stuff. Now, what is also really cool with a site like this is that I can favorite recipes, but it tells me to log in. And that means that for people to use full functionality of the site, they need to sign up for it. And I go on their list and uh, they get someone they can market to and to keep coming back. Now, but one once I have uh, signed up and signed in, I can favor the post, uh, put notes on it, and then it will be saved, saved in, in my favorite recipes so I can always find them. Uh, I can even submit my own stuff. Um, if you go here, I can submit the link to here. And uh, people also sign up in order to share their own recipes, their own blogs and whatever. <clears throat> and all these uh, uh, posts on here are from other people's blogs and sites. This is not stuff that Foodgogger put up there, just the aggregator, they curate stuff. And in fact, their members do most of the posting and curating for them. And you can see they have ads on here <clears throat> and that's how they make their revenue along with the list income from people who sign up and they get thousands and thousands of members. So that was a quick look at Foodgawker and what's so great about their site is that they don't create any content. They simply curate and link to the best recipe blog posts out there. And people join their site because they want the functionality of being a member or because they want to share their posts on there or both. Their members submit, like, and curate posts for them, growing the site and the quality of it on autopilot. And Foodgogger earns money from ads on the site and from being able to email their list of members. If you think that sounds great, you're absolutely not alone. I very much wanted a theme I could use to build site sites like Foodgogger in many different niches. But my search efforts left me empty-handed. Such a theme simply does not exist. And I wasn't the only one looking. I noticed a lot of other people asking for a theme like this. So we set out to build the Kovagoka theme and now we're super excited to bring it to your personal marketing arsenal. And let's go in and have a look at exactly uh, how Kovagoka looks and what it can do. And here we are on my test site built with the new uh, Kovagoka theme. <clears throat> and as you can see, I built a site here in the uh, do-it-yourself renovation and design niche. Uh, but of course you can use the theme in any niche you want. And the first thing you'll notice is that this looks exactly like Food Gawker. Uh, obviously that is the point of this, it has the same functionality. You can customize the look of it a lot and I will go get into that when we go into the admin area and see all the options. But it has the same stuff here. These posts are all blog posts or Amazon products or, or something else, but they're all from other sites. There's nothing I've written. I'm, I've cur I'm curating here, presenting this as in a nice visual form for my visitors and members to find what they need in this given niche. So if we look at uh, this post here, I can open up because I want to open up a couple here. But when you click a post, it opens up the single post here. 
and uh, and then you have the post here and you click to read more and you go to the the source of the post and uh, that's exactly how it works and uh, this one here <clears throat> is an Amazon product as you see we will also show related products based on tags and categories and keywords uh, here so the more posts uh, you have in uh, that, that fit it the more will show up out here as well and this is actually an Amazon product so when people click to read more they go to Amazon where they can purchase and uh, this particular stone wall if they want to put that in the garden and I will earn a commission uh, <clears throat> and it has all the same stuff here where you can uh, sort the post by time by most liked most viewed uh, you can search based on uh, categories and keywords. You can look at uh, only a landscaping category, the kitchen category, whatever on here. And you can also favorite the post and uh, and whatnot. And obviously, you can also register as a member. I'm already registered, so I'm just going to log in. And then when I'm logged in, I also have the option to uh, like a post, put a note on it, put my own tags on it and save it and then I will be able to find it in my favorites easily. And I can even go and submit a post. And that's how <coughs> uh, you and your members can easily add a lot of new great content to your site. And over time, your members will be doing uh, this for you, growing your site on autopilot. So if you're going into the admin area here, we can go into the theme visit and I will show you exactly how Google works. As you can see, we have our usual step-by-step <clears throat> -step wizard here for setting up the theme and for editing in here, complete with tutorial videos that will autoplay when you click the button inside the admin area here so you get the information you need right where you need it uh, when you need to fill stuff out. And it's very super simple step-by-step uh, -step setup here uh, to change the colors, uh, to change <clears throat> anything about the site that you really want. Here's a welcome email that will be automatically fired when new uh, members sign up and you can obviously put uh, an ad in here, a link in here and you can also see here when new members register, add them to your autoresponder list. It integrates with Aweber, get response, eye contact, MailChimp and indeed any other uh, autoresponder as well. Uh, so you will automatically be building a very <coughs> targeted niche list uh, when your members sign up and they will sign up in order to use the full functionality on the site and to submit their own stuff because people like to get free links and free traffic. And again, there's uh, mails that can be sent to uh, the members when they, their new posts are accepted. Uh, you can put some ads in there as well. And you have settings <clears throat> for denying posts from certain URLs, denying posts with certain words and so on and so forth. Lots of great stuff in here. Uh, that is very easy to set up. Now we also have the theme ads, <coughs> which means you can put a uh, banner in the header and you can toggle that on and off. And if you go in and see, I have an ad for Cola Gorka in the header here, you can change this uh, to whatever you like to promote up there. And you can also show random ads in the post uh, on the side. So you can see I have an advertisement here, also for Cola Gorka. You can set up up to five different ads here for anything you like. This could be Google AdSense, could be Amazon ads, a banner like I'm doing. And these can show, will show uh, at random between the posts and you can specify how many should be shown per page, uh, how often and how soon on the page. <clears throat> and finally, I just wanna show you how easy it is to fill this uh, site with content. And you can literally build a full of forest sites in minutes <clears throat> using these settings here. So if I go into settings here, that's uh, just for automatically creating tags. And then I can go into search for posts. And <clears throat> what we need to do here is just put in uh, an RSS feed from a blog that we're interested in finding posts from. We can put in keywords here. Put in a keyword here to only find posts that contain that keyword from the particular RSS feed which can be very handy too if you want to be very specific in what you put in right now. You can search for that keyword in title and content or in the title of the post only or in the content of the post only. And finally, you can select how many uh, posts maximum will be returned in this post. I'm happy with 10. Don't want to use a keyword right now. So 
we just hit search and the post comes in uh, here and uh, you can click a link to view the original post to see if you want it on your blog and you can also see a preview of it in this scrolling box here so let's put some posts on our blog I want that one um, Captain, that sounds good. And a plate rack, let's do that. And garage storage. And then I want to put that in my storage category. And finally, you select whether you want to import the selected posts as drafts so you can edit them, uh, further tag them, and, and whatnot before they go live or whether you just want to set them to live. I'm happy to import these to go live straight away. So I click the button. And it says posts have been imported and are now live. So if we refresh our page here, we will see that I now have four new posts on here. And, um, and there we go. And, <clears throat> and they're right here. And if I click on one of them, I go to the single post and I can read more and go to her uh, Anna White's page to get the full one. And you can see these are related posts because they are in the same category and have some of the same tags as well. So that's how easy it is. I just added four posts to my blog in a few seconds. And uh, as long as you find good RSS feeds with content you want on here, you can get in now and fill up your Coworker site with initial content in a matter of minutes. So that was a quick demo of the new Coworker theme. I hope you liked it. It's definitely a super powerful theme, no matter what niche you deploy it in. You can read on below for more information about the theme, or you can click the button below to start using Covert Gawker today. Because time is literally money. The dime sell is on and the price does go up with every order. And the early bird special will end and the price will go up for good when the countdown timer hits zero. So click the button below to secure your copy of Covert Gawker today and I will see you inside.